Hey guys, what's up? It's James Larson here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new photo app called PhotoLemur. Uh, this is a pretty interesting app. Uh, it's going to cost about $50 when it comes out. Right now I'm using the beta version, which you can download for free from their website. All you have to do is sign up. Uh, so I'm just playing around with it and seeing how it is. So basically what I've noticed so far is that it seems to live up to what it, they said when they were advertising it to bring out colors and to lift shadows and do all that kind of stuff. It does it really, really well. Here's a pretty good example. It's a picture of just a dirt road with trees and you can see the colors are pretty bland. And I'll show you now what it looks like. That's what it looks like after what Photo Lemur does. It looks so much better. Some people will probably think that it's a little oversaturated, which in my opinion it could be. But for this particular photo, I really like the way it looks. It brings out a lot of the colors. It looks a lot better than what the original photo looked like. Here's an example of shadow lifting and making your dark images look pretty good. Uh, I have this lake photo here, and as you can see, throughout like all... Of here is completely black there really is nothing to look at now afterwards you can see it's been lifted you can see the lily pads are there you can make out the clouds and the reflection it looks pretty good what I will note is that you can see some slight digital noise here it looks like a little bit green so you might want to try to tone down that a little bit if you can make it, make it a little bit more realistic and up here you can see some noise is there that wasn't there Previously, but that's because it was dark, so you really couldn't see that. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there that that noise was already there with the camera, and that it wasn't edited themselves. We'll have to see with more tests, but I do want to note that there is going to be some noise there. Okay, so let's take a look at this image. This image, uh, it's just some leaves with frost on it, and Photolemur does a good job here for the most part. So let's just look at it here. You can see the colors added. It looks nice. A lot of detail added right there. I'll go back just to show you. Not much detail in the frost there. And then they're able to pull it out. But there's a problem. If you look. Right there, there's nothing there. And when you put it over. Look at those red dots. Those are obviously not there in the image. And they're there. After Photolemur does its thing. So it leaves me it leaves me to believe that Photolemur is not completely resistant to adding digital noise because you can obviously see that is not there when uh it's not there. So we have our next image here, and this image Photolemur does a good job, but I do want to point out a couple things. The first thing is that when you put it over, I mean it it looks pretty good, but it, it all depends on people's taste because this is what it looks like in real life. It's not like the camera did a bad job of rendering colors. This is what it looks like. And then it, the, when Photolemur does its thing, it does look nice, and it does bring out green, but it is unnatural. So it all depends on your taste on whether or not you want that. With this image, I like the green and the yellow popping out. In this image, I'm not really too fond of it, but I mean that that all has to do on whether you want this extra green out or not So I just want to throw that in there. Okay, so with this final image uh, Here's something that is not super great with photo lemur uh, I'm just gonna throw it over and it looks good. You can see color is being brought out extra detail is there in the image but there is some digital noise if you if I go back and bring it back over, you can see, especially in this area, and actually throughout pretty much this whole thing, but especially in this area, you can see the noise that really is not profound, that really, really comes out there. Whether or not that's going to be an issue for you, I don't know. But for me, I prefer the original image because I don't want to have that noise there. So let's talk about uses for photo lemur. Uh, I was heavily considering buying it. Uh, I did a lot of testing in beta. And I've actually come to the decision of not buying it right now. Maybe in the future I will, but right now I won't. And the reason why is because it just came out, so it has some flaws and it has some bugs. And it, I mean, there's stuff that they're going to update and they're going to bring out. That being said, I think that as I start doing business, I'm going to want something like Lightroom or Photoshop or something along those lines. But probably I'll get both of them. 
but I'm go I'm gonna want something where I can control it, where I can add my own presets. I can control the colors if I don't want to bring out if I want to lift shadows, but I don't want to bring out all the colors, or you know what I mean. I I don't want Photolemur controlling everything that I do because I really can't change anything from this picture besides just making it a little bit more vivid, which brings out some more colors, adds some more digital noise, or bring it all the way down to realistic, which dulls the colors and gives it a different look. So my final verdict is that Photolemur has a whole lot of potential. It's got a ton of potential, and it's already um, come through on most of its promises. I think what they have to work on is getting rid of added digital noise, which is going to be difficult, but if they want this to be a high seller, they're going to have to get rid of adding, like those red dots and the stuff and coming in because you really cannot have that if you want to, you know, be successful. Now, what I would like to say is that I'm not bashing on Photolemur at all. I think that they've done a splendid job with the program, and I'm looking forward to see what they do in the future with it. I think Photolemur is going to be perfect for the person that, you know, you just go out and you take photos and share them on social media and just want to bring out some more colors and look the shadows really easily without having to do much work. Photolemur is going to be perfect for you. I think that's probably who they're targeting. So that's my final verdict on Photolemur right now. I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, love to see you give a thumbs up. And I'd also love to see you hit that subscribe button. Got a whole bunch of good videos coming up, including a Tamron 45mm review. I just got the lens a couple weeks back. Really liking it so far. I'm going to be putting out a couple reviews on it. And uh, video tests, all kinds of stuff is going to be coming very soon. So hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.